welcome, welcome, welcome. You are live with Barty Toto and Ray Tamayo, who is an amazing online marketer and attitude coach. And tonight is all about taking your talents and your knowledge and turning it into instant income online. So what you need to do is get out a notebook because you learn better when you take notes. Make sure you have a pen and a piece of paper and take some notes this evening and help your friends out. Share this on Instagram, share it on Facebook, wherever you want, and also turn your phone on silent. We are very excited that you are here. And when we created this, we decided people are going through a lot of challenges right now. And you know, whether you're a driving successful entrepreneur or just starting out, you are in the right place. You know, um, you don't know where to go or you have decided that uh, you need to do you, live your dream, your passion, and not what everyone else wants you to do. You are definitely in the right place. And Ray and I know that feeling all too well. I've been online for wow, since 1997, but I really got back involved in 2006, so I've been doing this for 14 years. Anyway, let's get started. So we're going to begin in a minute, and you can, you know, tweet this, like I said, share on Instagram with the hashtag disrupt your brand. For those of you who know me, I'm all about disrupting your brand, and that is a hashtag I use quite a bit. I know it says six-figure invisible branding method, which I will explain later what that is, but the title of this particular webinar is how to take your talents and your knowledge and turn it into an instant income. So to increase your viewing experience, I'd like you to turn off everything that's operating in the background, including email, Skype, iTunes, extra programs, shut your door, silence your phone, put in airplane mode, Get rid of the dog, the cat, anything that will distract you. And Ray and I acknowledge you, right, Ray? Because you are showing up and wanting to change your life versus watching Netflix, which I think I've That's seen <laughs> every Netflix show there is in the past few months. <laughs> How about you, Ray? Yeah, a little bit of binging, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So house rules. You must have a desire to serve others, integrity. Know that this is an investment in you, not in us, for you being here. If you are all about making money and it's only about the money and not helping other people, you are definitely in the wrong place. So what our intention for you is this. You know, we have over 2,000 members in the back office and they're building their own personal brand. They're people who have said yes to a different life. Um, whether, like I said, you want to join us or you do it on your own, I want this webinar to be a roadmap for you to get started. These people have said yes to their dreams, yes to becoming recession-proof, yes to their goals, yes, and Ray and I have talked about this lately, yes to never relying on anyone again um, to a greater life. You know, like I said, to be recession-proof, I cannot say that enough because this my friends, it's going to happen again. And you want to, no matter what economy we are in or what comes up in the world, you want to be prepared. I swore this would never, ever, ever happen to me again. Um, however, I did this in 2007, and so it didn't really affect me, but many people have been affected by it. So I want you to say yes to the life that you love, do what you love, and also bottom line financial peace, where you can choose your life and make choices and have good choices to make where you're not under somebody else's radar. So for you that stay toward the end, I want you to stay till the end because we have some bonuses for you. I have the 10 hidden social media tools that will help you brand yourself fast, okay? So you are in the right place if you are you know, coach, entrepreneur, speaker, realtor, musician, doctor, anything, whatever you do, even if you're a stay-at-home mom, you are 
in the right place, if your grandmother, auntie, uncle, whatever your calling is, you are in the right place. Full-time entrepreneur or business owner, and you need to pivot your business. Have an expertise or skill, but don't know how to sell it. You know, that you've possibly lost your job or you have job uncertainty and you want an extra income, whether it's 500 a month, 3,000 a month, maybe you've decided that you don't want to go back. I mean, so many people went back and they're like, I don't want to do this. I don't like this. I don't want to work for someone else. I was not working for anyone for three or four months. Why do I want to do this? Or you don't know your unique skill, but need money quickly, and we will discuss how you can do that. So how this webinar can help you learn the only way to, like I said, recession-proof your income, learn how to take your skill or talent, side income, and get paid right away, how to find out what people need, what they are willing to pay for, because you do have a solution to their pain or problem. You might not think you do, but you do. How to stand out, give value in a very noisy social media environment, position yourself for lasting success. So with myself, you know, I was a nurse and I'll get into that in a minute, but I am no different than you. And I repeat myself on that, um, you know, per periodically through this webinar, because I want you to realize, you know, my story and your story, story are identical. So the economy changed overnight. It really, really did. Uh, I put these facts out here just so that you could see, you know, the stock market dropped, the Dow dropped. They said in March that it was worse than what happened in 2008. Now, in 2008, I was not affected. And the reason I was not affected was I started online marketing in 2006 and 7 and was prepared. However, there was something that did happen to me in 2007. I'll share it with you. And I'm glad I was prepared, but many people were not prepared for this. Um, a lot of people have lost their homes, lost their jobs, lost their stocks. Everything changed in the past few months in this world. So just a little bit about me. Um, became a nurse in 1995, a long time ago. Um, the reason I left, I'll tell you in a nutshell, I got written up for talking to a patient. I was told my job was to get them in and out of the hospital, not talk to them. And I was like, that is not why I became a nurse. And so I took the love of helping other people onto the internet. I did hate my job. I did hate my life. I'm sure some of you can identify with that. I really dreaded going to work because of the politics. It's not that I didn't like helping others. I just didn't like being told what I could do, what I couldn't do, who I could talk to, who I couldn't talk to. And I was a charge nurse in dialysis. And I remember working anywhere from with 13-year-old girls up to 70-year-old people. And these people were like family to me. And so, you know, I was scared of getting out there. I remember abandoning my nursing career in 2006. I started my own marketing and branding company in 1997, but I thought I had to stay as a nurse at least once or twice a week to help other people. And then something hit me one day and I heard this voice saying, take the love of helping other people online. And I left and never looked back. In fact, there's a funny story to that. So what changed in my life? Um, as I said, I didn't feel the recession in 2008 at all. In 2007, my husband of only eight months had a traumatic brain injury, was on a coma and a ventilator. Suddenly I'm taking care of five people, um, you know, single mom, only receiving $430 a month child support. Even though he was, you know, my husband, I did not want him to take the financial responsibility of my two kids. You know, um, I didn't think that was fair to him. So, you know, here he has a brain injury. I'm left taking care of five people, literally. And since we were only married eight months, there was no will. There was nothing in place. I had to prove who I was, get guardianship, hire lawyers, very expensive process. And, you know, it was bad really, really bad. 
but like I said, in 2006, I left nursing overnight. You know, if I had not taken action, um, I would have stayed in that depression and fear, and I would not be where I am today if I had not made that decision to leave and to change something. And I'll tell you what also changed my life was, um, and I know Ray knows this, you know, back then, and I think it was, it was 1997, had to have been, um, I gave a guy a thousand dollars and never heard from him again. He sold me a bunch of information, but never showed me how to do it. So one of my uniqueness, um, my unique qualities and Ray's unique quality is that we don't tell people what to do. We show them how to do it. And I decided at that time that I was never, I would always show people how. Um, I was this guy's next meal ticket. I was, you know, his next rental payment or whatever it was. And I decided to give value and implement gratitude into my branding and my social media. So in 2007, you know, I got out there, got obsessed with social media and changing lives. And that's exactly what I did. So what did I do? All right. First, I didn't have a business plan and it did not take a business plan. I didn't spend years educating myself. I found someone who had results. That's important. Find, finding someone like Ray and myself who have results. I didn't make excuses and I executed it. I didn't even have an idea except I knew I wanted to create solutions to other people's pains and problems. I started on YouTube. It was not Facebook. It was not Twitter. I didn't even have a product. And I got out there, started telling my story about nursing, and I got a phone call. Somebody offered me to be in a book with Muhammad Ali and Jim Rohn and all these people. I'm like, I'm a nobody, you know. But if I had never made that first video, Michael Beckwith wouldn't have written the forward of my book. A lot of things would not have happened to me. So also it took me serving others, having an interest in others, and I showed up and did whatever I needed to do. So you see some of the pictures. Um, I never dreamed in a million years. My first book um, was Stedman Graham on the far right, who is Oprah's, you know, boyfriend, husband, whatever he is. I haven't still... Ray, I still haven't figured that out if that's her husband or or whatever. But I would never have <laughs> met him or, so. <laughs> that's, that's or Les question. Brown. I mean, Les Brown is amazing. He has endorsed my book. I would never have been on Entrepreneur Magazine or have the interviews with Gary Vandercheck if I had never made that first action. And I don't say this stuff to impress you guys, but to impress upon you that here's a nurse who, you know, had no program, no product. I had skill. I had a skill set. I knew what I loved to do. And I found someone, I said, teach me how to run instead of walking and crawling because I need to run. And I did. I found someone that had results. So really quick, and this is just a few statistics. Um, I had a client makes 4000 on the first day of Twitter, just getting out there and and taking their knowledge and their talent and turning it into a product or a consulting. Um, personally got sponsored by American Airlines, gotten myself and many others on TV, radio, using gratitude, something I call the invisible branding method. And 300,000 in eight months on YouTube, my first client did that with the $89 camcorder. And now I'm blessed, I'm raised blessed. We have helped thousands create six and seven figures. And what I did grew to help hundreds of thousands and to live the life I dreamed of. Now, I'm not talking, my definition of living the life I dream of and yours might be totally different. Um, mine has been going to Costa Rica and taking school supplies to a village. Um, mine has been, you know, doing masterminds on the power of asking. Mine has been able to, you know, be on TV to speak um, in the bottom left-hand corner, retail events. Now, a lot of people know me as branding expert, but a lot of people don't know that I've been an import-export for the past 20 years. So some of you, if you want to, you know, take what's hot, like this is a good business idea, the hottest products um, that are made in China or whatever, and 
turn it that into a business. Like with fidget spinners, I'll give you an example. My partner and I, he sold 400,000 fidget spinners in five minutes on QVC. So I know how to do import export as well as, you know, branding and social media. So if anybody wants to start their own import export company or, you know, buy product at wholesale and then, you know, sell at retail or sell large quantities, you know, I can help you do that. So I never would have this life in a million years. And when I started, this was just an idea, okay? I have three books, Kids for Gratitude, Disruptor Brand, The Power of Asking. The Power of Asking came from um, how I was raised. I don't know if any of you can empathize with this, but I was domesticated. Children were, were to be seen, not heard. I did not have a voice. And in 2005, I learned that I had a voice, how to ask, and I blew it up. My book, Kids for Gratitude, actually, it was a blog. I, I took a blog um, about ideas for kids to create gratitude in their life, like for teachers and parents to um, use to implement gratitude. I want to create leaders in this world, not bullies. So it says, inspiring kids to become the leaders of tomorrow. It was a blog that I turned into a book. So talk about taking your talents and your knowledge and your skill set and turning it into something that you can make an income. You might not want to be an author. I don't know, but I'm just showing that some of the stuff that has happened to me, I never would have it never would have crossed my mind in a million years if I hadn't have executed it. And then, of course, Forbes, what I've been known for all over the world is how gratitude advances marketing and business. What Entrepreneur interviewed me about was the power of gratitude. And I'm not saying this stuff, like I said, again, to um, you know, impress y'all, but to impress upon you what you can do. And the interview with Gary V and I that nobody has seen online. So, where am I? Well, a lot has changed. I've also created a foundation called kidsforgratitude.org. I was on TV discussing it with my two sons. That was back in a few years ago when they were much, well, I was saying not too much younger, but I've interviewed um, the founder of Ugg Boots which I'm sure everybody knows of Boots. Um, Brian Smith, I've worked with, you know, people from the Dallas Cowboys, been on TV. I was never looking for the limelight. Somebody came to me one day and they said, you know, pretend you have the cure for cancer. And that was, I was very profound with that. Sounds kind of morbid, but it's like, yeah, you know, whatever you do in life, pretend you do have the cure for cancer, get out there and make a difference in millions of lives. And so I've done just that. And if I had never gotten out there, I wouldn't have the life I have. I wouldn't be able to go to my son's bowling tournaments. He was first place in Arizona. I wouldn't have been able to do some of the stuff. I took my boys to the Las Vegas Speedway, um, been skydiving, you know, I've met people like Mike Ditka and people like Real Talk Kim, Gary V. Um, I've been a host on iHeartRadio. I mean, I feel like I live this dream life. And for me, a dream life is not Lamborghinis or Maseratis or big homes. It's having the freedom. I'm sure Ray will agree with me. It's just doing what you love to do. Um, down below, this is going to sound crazy for some of you in the, that are musicians from the 80s, but um, Night Ranger, the band Night Ranger, they actually um, promoted my fidget centers that had Bluetooth. They played uh, through a speaker, and so they promoted it, which is crazy and unheard of. But, you know, of course, it came from the power of asking, but where did I meet them? Social media. In fact, I'm actually about to interview one of the leaders or the band members in the band Night Ranger um, very soon this week. So it's just, I show these pictures and I hope that it inspires you or, you know, say, you make a decision to say, that's the life I want. 
um, you know, your life, like I said, your goals and dreams are different than mine, but mine is just being happy, you know, you know, traveling the world, which I have with my kids. I believe travel is a form of education and doing what I love to do. And that's helping people. So the only way to recession proof your income with your personal brand is, you know, bringing unique value and skills, which equal results. And I'll get into that. When you build a personal brand, you can do what you love and create financial peace. You become a person of value. People will like, know, and trust you. You can pivot and adapt to any market, and you must see the opportunity at all times. Create a solution to the problem. Now, I want to tell you, throughout this webinar, I did a lot of um, caption, a lot of uh, text, because we do have people that are hearing impaired that wanted to read the slides, so I typed a lot through this webinar. So what do you think a brand is? Most people think a brand is their logo, but it's not. A brand, especially invisible branding, is like a thumbprint. Now, I said I would mention what an invisible brand is. Example, Apple, people think a logo is a brand. Don't you agree with me, Ray, whether it's BMW, Coca-Cola, you know, Apple, they think that that is their brand, but it's not. I'll give you an example. When you build a foundation of a house, you pour the concrete and then you build the, the wood, put the wood up or the frame. And that's what Apple did. That's their invisible brand. The, you know, the genius bar, there's more people in the store helping people than people actually in the store. BMW, their brand is not their logo. It's that you cannot hear the door when it closes. Most of y'all didn't know that. You know, everybody has their invisible brand. Um, sometime I'll go, this is crazy, into the pet stores. And even dog food is creating their invisible brand or their brand where they stand out, you know, for kitten litter, there's kitten litter for senior cats, there's kitten litter for older cats, there's kitten litter that's organic, there's kitten litter that's recyclable, there's unreal, there's dog shirts that claim to create less anxiety in dogs. <laughs> there's actually, this is terrible, right? There's glow-in-the-dark poop bags. I'm like, but you know what? It's not the brand. It's the the invisible brand underneath. They created a solution to somebody's problem is my whole point of me. I go in the pet stores. I just look and I take photos of that I'm brand and marketing obsessed. I study this, you know, who's doing what. So now there's dog food companies that do, you know, have dog food for each breed and i'm like you know guys it's the same dog food they just put it that's a for a bulldog or a, a collie or for you know a pit bull or whatever i mean in my opinion it's no different but they did great with marketing you know and they're selling more products so clients as a brand clients want to be regularly reminded that they are important to you it's not up to your clients to remember you. It's your job to constantly and consistently remind them of who you are and reinforce why they have a relationship with you. This is important. Your brand, which is who you are, people are attracted to people, not product, is identity, attributes, vision, value, and trust. And, you know, bottom line, if you need cash now, there is an opportunity in any market and you must pivot. And for instance, with myself, this is why we created courses on Zoom, live streaming, how to create a virtual summit, how to instantly make your own e-learning academy. Now, what is an e-learning academy? It's like, you know, how you, like the military, they go to school online classes. Well, what has happened in the economy and what is happening in the world, I've known this since 2006. I've, I've been doing this since 2006. Actually, I've been on the internet since 1997, and so is Ray. Is, you know, a video e-learning center is a place where you could put your videos, your eBooks, your articles, whatever it is, and you immediately have your own academy that you could sell to people, whether it's 
$29 a month or whatever, um, you're instantly making money, okay? Also, you know, how to get on the front page of YouTube. I found a solution to people's pain. I created a solution to a problem. So really quick, I was talking to someone who's a comedian and a musician, and he's had to pivot to music classes. Speakers have pivot, pivoted to virtual summits. Real estate agents have pivoted to Zoom. In-person masterminds are now Zoom. Pivot, you know, fitness trainer is Zoom or Skype. So people are adapting. And you might say, well, I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm a mom. You know, I know I have talents and gifts. I want to learn tonight how to implement my talents and gifts and turn it into an income. And so the third, first thing you have to do is start with what you know and then build your brand. I mean, I was a nurse. And I knew that I loved helping other people. I got on the internet and didn't know a thing. And I sat, I remember sitting in front of my computer for two months and staring at it, not knowing what to do. This was right after I left nursing. Even though I had owned and operated a branding and marketing company for years, doing email broadcasting for over 200 network marketing companies, working with network marketing companies, it wasn't, I had to pivot to taking my branding and marketing firm online. So in 2006, I started with YouTube. But I was like, well, you know, what am I going to sell? People ended up falling in love with me, what I was doing. I could sell ice to the Eskimos and people would buy it. And it's because I had built a unique brand and I'm going to show you how to do the same. I met some amazing people. Some of these people you might recognize, some of them you might not. Um, down on the right, for those of you who are older, um, Ralph from Happy Days, um, dear friend of mine, we met on Facebook. Guy on the upper top um, right was the producer for Run DMC. Uh, if you know anything about the 80s and Run DMC, like, <laughs> He was the guy, the Adidas guy. And when you meet Steve now, he is all Adidas out. Yeah, he, he did very, very well. And then, of course, I've been able to do masterminds with my book. Remember, I told you the power of asking uh, came from an idea from one of my sons and um, who had a medical problem. I had to go and ask the military for medical records that would have taken 20 months to get. I got them overnight. And I realized that if you don't ask, you don't get. But asking is a form of gratitude. Even a friend request on social media is an ask. And I ask big, really big, you can tell. So um, one of my friends at the bottom, and, you know, this is not to brag. Each one of these people are, are just individuals. And they will say yes to you because somebody said yes to them. The guy down below in the middle is Daniel Logan. He played Boba Fett in Star Wars. He was young Boba Fett. He looks totally different now. But if you uh, go and Google him, he was a really cute kid in Star Wars. And we actually met on Twitter. And, you know, I got to tell you, I went to Twitter kicking and screaming. I learned to love it because I um, used niche marketing and, you know, used Twitter with hashtags and find some amazing people. That's how I've gotten um, recognition on Twitter from Entertainment Tonight, American Airlines, all kinds of craziness, really craziness. So now is the perfect not time to start a business or academy from your ideas, talents, and knowledge, anything that you do. Doing this builds your brand. Your goal is to build a long-term brand. You know, no matter what you are, you know, I teach people how to sell without selling. Like I said, people are attracted to people, not product. But whatever you have, people want. And it's very good to create different streams of income. I have about eight or nine, actually 12 now, things that I sell, from books to consulting about the power of asking to um, some things Ray and I are doing on mindset and you know, he's an attitude coach to everything. You know, get leads and traffic chasing you, but you want a long-term brand. So we're going to talk about some ideas here for you. Um, ideas for beginners, students, mom, millennials, 
I mean, whether you're a beginner, a mom, or a millennial, and this is across the board, what you can do, whether it's, you know, and I'm going to go over some of these and perhaps something might just jar in you that I can do that. I have that skill. So courier service, you know, cooking, technical writing, small business, proofreading, editing, web design. I mean, people come to me and they ask me to analyze their social media. What can I do differently? Why am I not getting views? Why is this messed up? Why is that messed up? And I'll go and within, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I can analyze someone's social media with hashtags and SEO and say, this is why it's not working for you. This is why nobody's following you. This is why you're not getting views. But that's my skill and I love it. I love also giving people facelifts, like brand facelifts, you know, people who um, are musicians, for instance, from 30 years ago that they need to recreate their brand, their face, you know, how to come across differently. You don't want to come across as me, 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 I, 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 you want to come across as serving. So I help people tweak their brand and tweak their social media. So some more, you know, e-commerce consulting, technical tutoring, TikTok. TikTok consulting, I just thought of that, um, fashion and image consulting. I mean, for those of you that are younger, you're really good at TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok course in the back of the office, but you could be a TikTok consultant for brands or businesses because they do have TikTok ads coming out. I'm actually on the waiting list. People like Gary Vee that are investors in it, that should say something. So maybe there's something on this list that jars you. And then parents, working parents, teachers, whether it's home maintenance, pet services, you know, research, photography, automobile repair, you know, giving someone advice about their automobile, cooking, chef, coaching, um, helping, you know, kids with SAT prep. You don't have to be a teacher. You might be a parent that has these skill sets already. You might be a home parent that has these skill sets already. Copywriting, editing. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who they got degrees, but they had kids and they never used their degrees. You have that skill set and you can turn it into an instant income. So I want you to look at this for a minute. Maybe something just lashes out to you. Um, I'll give you an example for musicians. Um, I think that is on the next page. Is with musicians, you know, teach people how to sing, teach people how to play guitar, teach people voice lessons or voice coaching or voiceovers. Um, authors, I have an author right now. He's a fictional author. I said teach people who are authors how to create characters. Charge $75 an hour because on my Facebook groups, the authors I'm with, they're always asking, you know, how do I come up with the fictional character? What does what does his strengths have to be? What are his weaknesses? I don't know how to come up with the character for a book. What should I name him? I'm, I'm like, I'm going back to this guy who writes spy novels, and I'm like, you need to help these people. He has a solution to their problem because in this group, like of 40,000 authors, people are clueless. I'm sitting here going, wow. So, you know, we created that overnight where he is consulting now fictional authors and you know he's really good at it so i want to show you what you can offer virtually okay i want you to think about this video courses how to ebooks mini courses boot camp courses events coaching and consulting whether it's hourly 30 minutes 15 minutes whatever cost to charge these are just ideas okay my video courses, if you buy them alone, individually, example, Instagram, $297. TikTok is $29 right now. Um, Zoom is $297. Um, YouTube is $697. You know, for me, it's a little higher because I know how to get on the front page of YouTube in a matter of seconds and minutes without with any phrase or keywords. So I charge higher because of the value and my knowledge and the same thing with you ebooks and mini courses ten dollars to fifty boot camps and courses three hundred dollars to five hundred dollars okay events a thousand to ten thousand okay now we have to take these events virtually coaching and consulting from a thousand to ten thousand and i want to give you examples 
$5,000 a month times three clients is what? 15,000. And you're probably saying, well, I don't fit in that category, but you can. You can start charging people consulting training. And I know Ray's head is spinning right now. $500 times three is 1,500 a month. You might just want to make an extra 1,500 a month, or you're saying, no, I really want to leave my job. And you can do, you know, with my branding and my social media, what I know, I can show you how to get yourself out there. And one of the courses in the membership site, our inner circle, is how to communicate on social media, how to get clients and people instantly. Like I said, one of my clients said 4,000 in one day on Twitter. Um, it can happen. It will happen. If you take what I teach and you utilize it and you follow the directions to a T and I'm not saying that because um, I know everything, but my results work. Um, they do. So a thousand dollar client times, you know, three every month, that's 3000 a month. Do a thousand courses at 497. Do the math. That's 497,000 a year. Hello. Okay. That's a lot of money. All right. You know, these are just examples. Maybe you want to do a video e-learning course, which we have in the inner circle back office. You might want to say, Barty, I want to do a video e-learning course, charge $29 a month, 100 people, 2,900. Of course, you do need to give, you know, value, which I will help you with. We have some brand new courses coming out in the next couple of days on how to create a product with an iPhone, how to create a product, all kinds of things. And if you did $29 times 1,000, that's 29,000 a month, if my math is correct. Ray, is my math correct? <laughs> it looks like it is. Um, okay, yeah. well, that's good. Well, I gotta double check sometimes. But yeah, I no, mean, you see how you can, I, I'm even giving you guys the ideas for pricing, okay? You can take anything, like I have a musician friend. He loves to cook. I said, create a cookbook. Create and a cookbook. Marty, Every, everyone would buy it, you know? Right. Because, and I because got something of who he is. It. Right. And I, I just want to share something as you're talking. Like you said, my head was spinning. <laughs> and it was. Um, but the, the you know as people see these these numbers just to let everybody know you know these numbers might they might be nosebleed seats for you now but Barty also teaches you how to scale your business say say your coaching or consulting is starts at a thousand dollars I know that I, I I've, I've charged a thousand a thousand to fifteen hundred in coaching before but here's the thing is is that Barty is able to teach you how to scale that up and that's what's oh, so yeah. powerful For about sure. that. So, so and you it's know just what? Not it's funny because some people, and this goes with the power of asking, and I'll share with you how I can, we can help you with that as well, is, you know, don't be afraid to ask for more money because not only do you want it, you deserve it. And we'll get into that in a little bit. The first thing you have to do is to lean inward. There's so many things you can do right now to make money. And like I said, I have caption um, on my pages today for pe people that are hearing impaired. You know, people are spending so much money even right now, Ray, on editing, proofreading, design. People are writing more books now than ever, doing research. They're coming to me saying, who do you know that does this? Who do you know for mindset? You know, there's a lot of people right now that are depressed. There's a lot of people right now that don't know what's going to happen to them tomorrow. There's a lot of people that need help and, and your skills and your knowledge and your talents can help these people. You know, I'm here to help and brand you as, and be seen as an expert and you're doing others a disservice. Yes, you, not me, if you do not build your personal brand. You have their solution. However, you know, you might be afraid. I remember when I first got online, I, or when I did YouTube, I was afraid. I was wearing sunglasses. I got over that really quick because my phone started ringing and people were like, I love your videos. It wasn't what I looked like. It was what I was saying. And the same thing with you is you have a talent and a gift. 
or whatever knowledge you have. I don't care if you're a musician, you're just a stay at home, you're a stay at home mom, you know, a nurse, whatever. Um, you know, you can take that talent and skill set um, that you have buried. Some of you have buried your skill set and your talent because you did become a stay at home parent. I want you to really think after this, you know, webinar, you know, look at yourself. And I am going to show you in a minute how we are going to look at you and how you can dig those things up out of you. It's like, um, what are you good at? Okay, so if you do not build your personal brain, you will not survive in any economy. I don't mean to be harsh or cruel, but you won't. You know, are you spreading val value or are you holding back? I mean, retail is dead. It is all virtual. And like I said, what's funny is I've been doing this since 2006, so it's not new to me. What I saw during the virus and Ray saw is all these people now wanting to learn Zoom. They don't know what to do, virtual summits, everything. I've been doing this since 2006, so I was prepared. Now, when my husband had the brain injury, I was also prepared. Oh, actually, I wasn't. He had it in 2007. When 2008 came around, in 2008, I was prepared because in 2007, I had to force myself into, you know, doing the marketing and branding online because of his situation. So, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people were forced to pivot or they pivoted to where they know they need to do something virtually, but you don't know how. You don't know how to change that. And I'm here to help you. There's too many people out there talking about pivoting. What we're doing is talking about taking your talent and your knowledge and turning it into income instantly. Whether it's creating content, ebook courses, e-learning centers, you can work from anywhere in the world. So what interests you? This is where I hope this, you know, sparks something in you. What you love. I want you to get a piece of paper out and write, draw three circles. You can do this, you know, while I'm talking. What you love, your skill set, and money. What do you love to do? Me, I love to travel. I love listening to music. I love building relationships. I love connecting people. I could connect people all day long. I love taking my clients and introducing them to big people because nobody did it for me. I mean, my clients, I introduce them to big people. I get people interviews instantly. I love doing that. It's just my passion. I love making products. I love doing video. Um, personal development, listening to music, that is what I love. So I took what I love and my skill set, which is, look over here, communication on social media. I teach people how to ask, and I teach people how to implement gratitude into their brand on social media. So that is my skill set, the power of asking. So I've taken what I love to do, which is talking, I have a gift of gab, my skill set, which is asking questions, and guess what? I do consulting. I do coaching. I do events. I do services. So the reason I have the heart in the middle is you have to connect all this, the triangle, and it brings it all together. So as you can see, my skill set is asking questions, networking, negotiating, you know, how to make more money, how to ask for more money, interviewing. I love interviewing people connecting people, I, turning ideas into products. I'm a go-getter, branding others, sales. I, I don't sell. I sell without selling. When I was 19 years old, I worked at Sears and Robot on their call center, and I had to renew maintenance agreements. And there were people that were there for 30 years, and every month I was the top person in sales. Now, why did I, why was that? Because it was not what I said, it was how I said it. So I teach people how to communicate on social media. It's not what you say, but how you say it. And the number one question I get when on social media is, okay, once I become friends with someone, what do I do? So I have a whole communication course in the back, seven hours that is on social media or communication and, and turning your relationships on social media into sales or sometimes it's not about the money guys it's about the opportunity like my interviews with Gary V my entrepreneur magazine Forbes all that was from just building a relationship with someone on Twitter on Instagram so money 
co consulting, coaching, services, event, content, e-learning academy, products, recording how-to videos, how to do something. I actually had to look for a YouTube video on how to change a coach light. And for those of you that don't know what a coach light is, it's like a light outside your house. People are not going to Google anymore. They don't want to read. They want to know what is it going to do for me? How can I fix it? I had to go to YouTube last night on a recipe I didn't know how to do. And instantly, guess what? <laughs> Very simple, how to cut. I had to learn how to cut something a certain way. Yes, cutting for a recipe. And it was right there. So somebody's making money off of something, a skill they know how to do that I didn't know. <laughs> so anyway, so my question to you is this. First of all, you have to look at yourself. Who will you serve? All right, we're going to go over six things tonight. Who will you serve? Who do you want to serve? Okay, that's your research. Who do you know that you can help? If you don't know them, who do you desire to work with and why? Start at arm's reach and then make your dream list. See, I made my dream list. One of my mentors said, if you had 48 hours, who would you want to work with? If you had 48 hours to live, what would you do? And Gary told me, Gary V, he says, don't look at it like that. You know, look at it a, a different way, you know, um, and that helped me immensely. So I actually have a video in the back office that I will share with y'all on um, resistance, which is what we talked about. Because if you cannot get past resistance, you know, there's nothing that I can teach you or show you that will work. So, you know, I know that my dream list in 2008 was big. I looked at it and I said, why not? And for those of you, when you make your dream list, who you would interview, who you would like to reach, just go down that list and say, why not? Why not? You know, why not? Why not me? Why not? You know, it's the people who say why, that fail. It's the people that say why not that make a difference. I want you to remember that, okay? I'll always say why not. So focus on one gig client for someone you would enjoy working with and describe them in detail. Write it down, you know. Number two, what can you do? What problem can be solved? Ask what do I love to do? Example, setting people up on social media. Back in 2009, I saw everyone on Facebook. I didn't want to be on Facebook. I wanted to be everywhere. So what did I do? I created software where we uh, set people up on like 20 different social networking sites and then we showed, show them how to post to all of them at once. What did I do? I eliminated time, saved them money, and some of you are probably saying, how can I do that? You know, it's a service we offer, but it's, you know, Rather than you spending hours and hours and hours on social media, you don't have to manage all these sites. You just go to one place, you know, post, and it goes out everywhere. But we set people up on all these sites. We do the backlinking. We do the SEO. We do everything. And so it's a done-for-you service. And what did I do? I saw a problem, created a solution. You can do the same thing. So number two, what can I do? What problem can I solve? Ask, what do I love to do? Like I said, setting people up on social media. And why care? You must care, okay? If you're just here to, yeah, I know we all want to make money. You want to make money instantly. But if you don't care about someone, it just doesn't work. The magic doesn't happen if you're doing stuff without caring. Um, action takers get results. Mine is to serve over deliver. When this happens, doors will open for you, I promise. And this is, like I said, the only way to recession-proof your income, okay? It's your personal brand. And also your unique value. Your uniqueness will recession-proof your unique value, meaning your uniqueness will recession-proof your unique value, meaning that you will never have to worry again about, you know, working for someone else or being under someone's, you know, supervision. I mean, a lot of you do have a job or are working, but you know that you're much better than, than that and you can do big, big things and you will do big, big things. I'm going to help you find that unique value. 
and we have a community that does that for you. So what makes you great at what you do? How are you different than everyone else? These are some of the questions. What unique characteristics do you have? And what have you been complimented about? Like, what do people compliment? You know, for me, it's um, my unique value is it's not, I don't tell people what they want to hear, but what works and what does not. So I tell people Facebook pages don't work. People go and like your page once, never to go back. There's a lot of people out there that don't like me. I have a hater even because um, there are people that make a living setting people up on Facebook pages and I'm sitting here telling people they don't work. Groups work because a group is where you come back together. Let's say you're part of a coffee group or when I had my cracks and then a couple of years ago, I was in a group for post-concussion syndrome. Well, we all came together to support each other and to help each other. But if it's a group, let's say, on X, Y, and Z, you know, I have 283 pages I've liked on Facebook that I've never gone back to, right? That's embarrassing. But groups I'll go back to because group is a community and you support each other, you know? Exactly. So you have to find your uniqueness. Um, my other uniqueness is asking and gratitude, you know, how I've implemented gratitude into social media and branding. I've been on interviewed on bold TV and TV shows and everything on how I help sales forces or sales teams implement gratitude into their sales versus coming across salesy and repelling people. Um, I help people in network marketing come across with gratitude implementing gratitude into their sales instead of shoving a potion lotion or pill down your throat. You know, musicians, a lot of people want to sell CDs, but you have to give value and care. My friend who's a night ranger, he's amazing. He, um, you know, he's constantly, you know, playing online and showing people how to play um, and you know, he's given value back. And there's very few people that do that. They're all about themselves. You know, what is in it for me? I just want to sell something. And yes, I get that you want to make money. However, you've got to, you know, have a uniqueness and care about others. So anyway, I was afraid of asking because of how I was domesticated, my family values, you know, I grew up in Hawaii. There's a, um, a melting pot there. And there are certain cultures that find asking to be rude. My culture, my dad's Russian background, um, children would be seen, not heard. I didn't have a voice. I'm not going to allow you to have that. I did get a voice. And so there's two sides to asking, asking and receiving. And know that you deserve to charge a high price. Know that you deserve to use your talents and knowledge and turn it into an instant income, okay? So what will you sell? I want you to think about this. List exact the exact ways you can add value. I want you to think about this. And there, I will, you know, give you this recording. It will be in the back office. What do they really want? What do they not want from you? And what is the one thing you can do that will bring them results fast? Remember, you get paid to continually learn, okay? Better to start simple with your off offer because it's much easier to sell. Now, pricing, you can do hourly, flat rate, or a retainer. And how will you price it? First, check direct competition to get the price range. What is your time worth? You know, what price feels comfortable for you? Get in their door and show results. Your prices will evolve over time, but it's easier to increase, but harder to decrease once it's set. And sell and focus on these three things. Desire, what do they want? Uniqueness, your ideas, thought processes. They can try it on their own, but your solution, and I have a spell typo here, sorry guys, saves them time and money. So for instance, I'm giving my knowledge in the back office that will save you years, years. It's like I have results and I know how to communicate on social media 
everything that I do daily, I share my secrets with people in my community. Okay, so like I said, they can try it on their own. Like you can try and learn all this on your own. It's gonna take you years and a lot of pain and no money. You'll be spending more time than anything. And why your your business, your hustle brings them fast results in doing it on their own. So you have to sell and focus on these three things. I'm helping someone right now who's doing a music event this weekend and they were trying to come up with pricing for their products or their CDs. And they said something, I said, you sound very desperate. You need to come from a point of inspiration versus desperation. Give value, you know, <laughs> do not sound so desperate. So how to get results. Results come from uniqueness in your brand. Now I've probably repeated myself a million times on this, but it is so true. And I am going to teach you how to brand yourself. Even if you say, I'm not like you, remember I was a nurse, you know, I'm just a mom, I'm just a dad, I'm single. You can use every excuse in the book, but you are in your own way, okay? You gotta show your passion and enthusiasm, I can even talk tonight. You know, people get excited when you're excited, you know? Um, when people hear my story that I went from a nurse to a New York Times seller and that I've interviewed all these people and people are like, oh my God, I would love to do what you do. You can, you just ask and you just do it. I mean, and people say, but I don't have, I'm not where you are. Just like people say, well, Ray, I, I, I'm not where you are. You know what? You have to start somewhere. I mean, I didn't have a product or anything when I went on YouTube. I just started talking about, you know, my frustrations and all kinds of things. And my phone started ringing because we were like, I can identify with you that you don't like your job, you're depressed. And I was being real and transparent. You know, I was being vulnerable. You know, um, recently I confessed, in fact, I confessed it to Ray, <laughs> that I was, my newest book, Disrupt Your Brand, that Gary Vee is part of, I, um, I was afraid to launch it. I mean, there was a minute that because Gary had just been on Jimmy Fallon, he sold by 8 million people. I'm like, oh my gosh, because I love helping people one-on-one. -on -one. I love, you know, I don't look at people as a number or, a, you know, a social security number or anything. like. I love talking to people on the phone. And in fact, one of my brands is I give out my phone number so people can call me. But the only person that no, Ray, you're not the only person that calls me. But, you know, seriously, guys, people are afraid of calling me. I don't know why. I don't know. Ray, Ray called me. <laughs> it's funny. I did. <laughs> so, yeah. So post on social media. You know, this is how you can start promoting and branding. I'm just giving you value and ideas right now. Post on social media for free calls and consultation. Direct message or video message gets attention on Instagram. Forget direct message, you know, record something for five minutes, I mean five seconds or even 10 seconds or 15 seconds, literally 15 seconds and say, it's really nice to meet you and send it on Instagram. Now Instagram has something like Zoom where you can get a bunch of people together and do a group message, um, which is really cool. And same with Facebook. So I have, like I said, a course in the Diamond Inner Circle on communication. It's so important for me to tell you it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And we talk about that in a private interview with Gary V and myself on um, resistance and making comments. So, you know, posting on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Um, and my biggest secret, um, what I shared with you earlier about sending people up on the multiple social networking sites. You know, I saw a problem and created a solution. You know, do strategy calls, free strategy calls for people, um, maybe once a day to, you know, free so that they can get to know you. Uh, serve others. Do a webinar. If you don't know how to do a webinar, um, I can, I actually have a course coming out this week on how to do a webinar, creating six and seven figures, um, doing a webinar. So next step, building a personal brand and a thriving business. So as I told you, I don't 
tell people, I show people. So I have don't tell me, show me. You have two choices. You can learn it on your own or save your time, self a lot of time and money and speed up the process because there is a process. So where to start? I want to show you something. This is what I created. I created a back office. I call it the Power of Branding Diamond Inner Circle. And there are so many videos. I looked in Vimeo and I have 500 videos. That's a lot. But on the Power of Branding Academy, we have about 300 pages. And we have courses. And I'm going to show you the back office in a second. How to communicate on social media. E-learning course. You know, how to create your own video course. In fact, there was some new software that just came out yesterday that I'm making a video on back there where you can upload videos, you could upload an ebook, you could upload an article. All you have to do is slap on like PayPal and you instantly have a, an academy to where you can sell something. Instant, okay? Zoom, TikTok for business, becoming an influencer on Instagram, live streaming, YouTube, how to dominate the front page of YouTube. Um, and speaking of which, on YouTube, if you want to write this down, it's called YouTubeforyourbusiness.com, and I'll show you the page. I have proof how I got on the front page of YouTube with any phrase or keyword in a matter of minutes, literally minutes, which also got me on the front page of Yahoo and Google. So this week we have product creation coming, selling digital videos on Amazon. Um, I'm offering the power of asking certification. So some of you who might want that are coaches, and you want to be certified in the power of asking because it's trademarked and copywritten by me. I'm showing coaches how to be certified in the power of asking, which there is a fee, but I have that as well. You know, how to create an ebook in 48 hours. There's a new Facebook course, webinars, six figures, do it on your own. It's all in the back. Hashtag course, virtual summit course, one hour product creation videos are coming this week. Selling your product on Skillshare is coming this week. Personal branding, Facebook Live, niche marketing videos. Maybe you don't know a thing about niche marketing. This is an amazing course where to start. Uh, writing a book in 48 hours, social content strategies, speed publishing with Kindle, creating a product with an iPhone, and um, other iTunes. I'm going to show you something really quick. So this is the back office. And you can see that we have gold, platinum, diamond. Diamond, the inner diamond circle, where I'm at right now. And you can see I have create product with an iPhone. Um, introduction to diamond members watch first before anything. Here's, you know, communication on social media, the biggest gold mine. But you can see when you click on it, these are all step-by-step -step videos. When you, um, you know, click on it, I it's immediately over-the-shoulder videos, so there's no questions. I'm basically going to be with you in your living room. And my partner, my other partner, not Ray, but my other partner did some of these videos. We have everything from, you know, Instagram course, TikTok, overcoming fear audios, uh, Snapchat, branding with podcasting, hashtag virtual summit, Facebook Live, um, niche marketing, Reddit. I forgot. I have a course on Reddit back there, which is an amazing social bookmarking um, platform that a lot of people don't know about. Um, Periscope is coming back around. New Instagram course. I even have a social media worksheet on what to do daily. So there's no questions that you can, there should be no questions. This is right at your fingertips. Um, if you have any suggestions on courses, there's new courses that are coming out every month for specific members. Um, and that's it. So YouTube, uh, the YouTube for your business.com. You can jump over there and you can see I have, you know, proof of getting on the front page of YouTube in minutes. Then, you know, um, I got on there in 14 minutes under Instagram secret secret tips and hacks. And I also show, you know, proof at the bottom, you know, of different proof how I got, 
on the front you know page of YouTube, how I've gotten on the front page of uh, Yahoo search engine, which Google now owns, and so forth. And I just wanted to share that with you. So that is everything in the back office. So it's about twenty-two thousand dollars. All right. And this is the number one place you can build your brand and become an influencer. All right. So what has stopped you from getting out there? Uh, number one question or number one answer I get is fear. And the only way to bust through this is to take action. And of course, the number two uh, problem is time and fear of technology. A lot of people have that. Moment of truth, what is stopping you? You know, is it standing out from the crowd? Is it because you're a mom, you don't have enough time, you're a techie? You have all the time in the world right now, seriously. And some of you might have gone back to work. However, you have the time and you can do this, all right? And there's a lot of excuses for a closed mind, but I know that for you that showed up today, you do not have a closed mind. And I acknowledge you and I'm grateful for you that you did come, you know. We have some amazing testimonials, um, openbookentertainment.com, amazing company out of Dallas, and within, they use Twitter, okay, and they got gigs with the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Young Jeezy, who's a hip-hop artist, Girl Scouts, Karina, um, amazing things happen at this company within 48 hours just on Twitter alone. And I have a couple of testimonials where people, you know, one guy, he said that um, he was recently contacted from some governments in Argentina and Uruguay for a $300 million to a $10 billion contract for this company from what I showed them um, with attraction marketing, okay? And this is just some social proof. And I am no different than you. Resistance is your guide. If you have resistance, it means that most likely the money is on the other side of what you resist most. This is very important. Whatever you're resisting, there is money on the other side. And, you know, I've been there. I self-sabotaged, and it will kill your business. I had, um, I have no shame. I had a hater. I had a stalker online, still do. Been around for nine years now, and I did let him get to me for a little bit. but. Remember, the investment is you. People think that they pay me, and they're not paying me. They're not paying Ray. They're, you're, you're investing in yourself. And when you settle for less, you cause your kids to settle for less, your family to settle for less, and it will snowball. And my goal is this. If this is free, I can't imagine what the paid stuff looks like. So this is what I have to offer you. Um, we have the back office that I showed you at $99 per month, which equals $1,200 a year, okay? It is not lifetime. Um, it is the current videos in the back office, and you do get access to the bonuses. Or what I've decided to do, and of course, this is up to Ray as well, is it's $497 for the first 20 people. You get the new monthly videos, you get the bonuses, you get one 30-minute group mastermind, uh, the Facebook community, and a 10 minute call from me um, to talk about, you know, strategy, whatever you want. If you want me to look at something, if you want me to analyze something, anything. Okay, this is 497 for the first 20 people only, and it will go quick. All right, then we have the 897, which is um, it's a lifetime membership. Okay, you say $400 for the first 20 people on this level where there's new monthly courses, you get access to the YouTube course, which the YouTube course alone is $6.97. Um, bonuses, mastermind, call every month, this group, a private Facebook community, a 30-minute one-on-one call this week, this week only, and the Power of Asking course in the new book I have, and it's only going to the first 20 people that do it at $8.97. So once again, there's uh, $99 per month, uh, $497 for the first 20 people. However, you don't get the YouTube course. You don't get the mastermind call every month. And you don't get the 
you know, 30 minute call with me and you don't get access to the power of asking course and new book. Um, the 897, you get a lot more in the back office as well. However, you know, I wanted, instead of you paying 99 a month, like I said, the first 20 people at 497, um, and I'll let you look at that in a minute. Um, that's like a lot of money off. <laughs> that's like almost $800 off. So what I, what we normally charge, because when people hire me one-on-one -on -one during the day, it's 5,000 to $10,000, not even for the day for, you know, six hours or something. So bonus. Okay. Investing in yourself, making your dreams real, become recession proof. So as a bonus, you will get the people that sign up at the 497 level. Um, you will get the new product creation course that we're launching this week and how to create a product with an iPhone. And then I have brand new courses coming up every week. But this is for the people that come in in the next 15 minutes on the 497 level and the 897 level, okay? Now, I just wanted to, there are people that have been asking me about um, being a power of asking coach and getting certified. I only take 10 a year. The cost is actually, it says $29.95. Um, I'm lowered it to 2,500 and you have to call me within 10 minutes of this webinar, um, which is 520-867-2530 to where you'll be certified with the power of asking, you become a power of asking coach, which could bring you a lot of money because there are a lot of people that have a problem with asking, uh, whether it's for a job, whether it's in their personal life, their business life, asking for more money. Um, we're helping them break through the barriers of what happened to them. It all started when they were younger. Um, most people who have a problem asking, if you look back, it did start when you were younger. And so, I teach people on that. I normally charge a lot more than this for certification. However, I decided to um, offer it at 2,500 because, and I, you have to apply with me. I will not let just anybody take my information that's trademarked and copywritten and go and become a coach. But if you're interested in being a power of asking coach and certified in that, I have that as well. So this is not for everyone. I mean, um, if you are lazy and you have a poor work ethic, not to be rude, this is not for you, okay? You've sat through this webinar. I give you much gratitude and thanks for this. I mean, you have to say yes to your dreams, say yes to becoming recession-proof, say yes to your future goals, say yes to never relying on anyone again. Ray and I have had this conversation several times this week. Say yes to a greater life, saying yes to being recession-proof. I've said that twice. Um, you know, saying yes to having more income, saying yes to your life and doing what you love, and saying yes to financial peace. Because without financial peace, you cannot have choices. You are under somebody's thumb, somebody's radar, and I want you to have the life that you love in any economy. Seriously. And we only pay attention for what we pay for in life. When you invest in yourself and you say yes to yourself, I deserve this book, I deserve this course, I deserve to buy this program because I want to gain this information and have the wisdom to move forward. You are saying, you know, yes, that you are worthy of good things happening in the future and you're worthy of this investment. So you can go to powerofbrandingacademy.com forward slash buy dash now, okay? Powerofreeningacademy.com forward slash buy dash now. Ray, can you check that link to make sure that I type that right? Sure. And I'm going to take some questions. So I had a bunch of people ask me a bunch of questions. They sent in a bunch of questions for us. So, first of all, I want to say to you, I'm, I'm talking to you guys um, like I would talk to my kids. 
or to someone I really loved and cared about is now is the time. And what I tell people is that you're not investing in me, you're investing in you and your family and not settling. You cannot afford to wait another week, another month to step up and change your life. You cannot say yes to, you know, you cannot afford not to say yes to yourself. And like I said, my, my mentor told me this. When I got on the internet, I wanted everything to be perfect. He said, Barty, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be right, just get it going. And I'm like, okay, I will. So it's like when I made a video, I mean, I just turned it on. Like a lot of people are like, well, what if I sound stupid? Well, who cares what you sound like? Who cares what you look like? I was telling Ray, nobody cares what you look like or what you sound like. It's what comes out of your mouth, what you say. You know, before I started by wearing sunglasses, you know, you cannot um, make the excuses that you'll do it later. You'll do it when you're ready. I mean, if the past few months hasn't shooken you up, I don't know what to say. I mean, you can no longer afford to wait till you're ready. And things are going to get worse before they get better. A lot of people are in disbelief about what's been going on. I personally have known three people who have passed from this. It's not just about the COVID virus. It's about the economy and about things pivoting. Things will not ever be back to normal. They won't. Uh, six feet apart, 25% capacity. I know people who have literally owned businesses for 34 years that had to close shop because they were not prepared on social media or branding. The ones that were prepared and were clients of mine that did branding and social media, even restaurants, and they even did list building and they had their clients' names and they had them as customers. You know, when things went down, they called them to see how they were doing. You know, they took the relationships that they built on social media and they utilized them to stay, you know, stay in business. So you must take action and I will definitely hold you accountable. That's why we made this community. You know, we have a brand new Facebook group um, coming out in the next couple of days. It's called Do It Afraid. And the reason I named it Do It Afraid is, and I will give you private access, is because we're a community that helps each other, that is there for each other, mindset, attitude. You know, these one-on-one -on -one calls that I'm going to do with you, I'm going to share my secrets. I'm going to tell you things that you won't even see in the back. So those of you who do sign up at the 897 level and you get that call from me, I mean, I, I'm, I show all my cards. And, you know, for those of you who do the 497, you're going to get, you know, a lot of information as well. And some of you might want me to go back. Just to let you know, Barty, that, that uh, link is live. It's live. So. Okay. I just want to make sure. And by the way, um, that link, powerofbrandingacademy.com forward slash buy dash now, you will see other courses on there. My courses range anywhere from 97 to 697. There's a few on those page, but you can click on the one that says webinar special for 497 or the one um, for 897, which will include YouTube and also um, some a lot of extras in the back office. There's 14 extra bonuses in the back for the people that sign up at 497 and 897. So we're giving a lot away. Um, I wanted to give you as much value as I could. Uh, no failure. Uh, people are asking me, you know, um, what if I've never done anything? Like I said, you know, I'm here for you, Ray's here for you. We have the back office, we have the community. Um, you, you do not want to ask people, it, it'd be like, you know, somebody trying to do social media who's never done it. Like, I wouldn't trust myself changing a tire or waxing a car. They're car and their wax job would get really messed up. Um, you need to find someone that has results, that is very good at what they do, and 
that is what we've created, the Power of Branding Academy. The whole, I mean, there's so much back there and you're probably, somebody says, well, where do I start? Well, in the back under the diamond section, which is what you would get access to, there is a video that says watch first before anything, which is about mindset and branding. And what I would do is I would start in the diamond section on communication, how to communicate. I break it down to each social media platform, how to communicate on social media. And for those of you who maybe you want to do an ebook, maybe you want to create a product, um, go to the section in the back office. Um, the ebook and the product creation are coming out in the next uh, 72 hours. Okay. I had to um, have a big beginner and advanced course, but you can, the prices are only good for the first 20 people on the 497 level and also on the 897 level. And again, you go to powerofbrandingacademy.com forward slash buy dash now. So, let's see, I'm looking through the questions. And somebody was saying, you know, how do I find out about getting set up of the social networking sites? You can actually um, call me. Um, I will give you my phone number. In fact, um, for those of you who wanted information about the power of asking um, for the coaching, you need to call me anyway at 520-867-2530. And there is also a way that we can set you up on multiple social networking sites where you don't have to manage them all at once, but you click a button and it goes out everywhere. So. Ray, did you have any questions or? No, this I think you covered everything that, that would probably add. Yeah, we, what we, we don't want you to let fear cripple your dream. Um, you know, one thing I know this is procrastination kills success, but taking action kills fear and kills procrastination. And, you know, if you are a complainer, you want to stay stuck, you know, then stay where you are. I mean, we're not trying to be rude. You know, if you're tired of being insecure, fearful, and you want to surround yourself, uh, we are a community that will uplift you, that will hold you accountable. Um, like I said, nobody ever helped me. Um, nobody. I am self-taught. I did find someone and I said, teach me how to use the software. Um, in 1997, when I created my own email marketing company, um, now email marketing's dead. I mean, people think that um, it's not exactly dead, but you have to use social media in order to use email marketing. Um, where my people are asking me what three social media platforms I use the most, my gold line is um, Instagram. In fact, uh, if you go to Instagram.com forward slash Barty Toto, you can follow me there. And um, you know, Facebook, I really. Um, I'm on Facebook for the groups. I rather not incubate myself on Facebook because I'm limited to 5,000 people and only one to 3% people see your post. So I've launched out Instagram. I love Twitter. Um, I have a new Twitter class coming out this week. I went to Twitter kicking and screaming. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, but I found a way to love it. I found a way to, you know, get clients off of it. I mean, most of my clients are coming from uh, video, YouTube, uh, Facebook Live, live streaming, um, the e-learning center, and that is huge, guys, um, creating your own e-learning center. So creating, taking your videos, taking your knowledge, you know, you could shoot a few videos this week teaching, you know, how to do something or some kind of skill that you have and start selling that instantly. Um, and I hope that I've sparked a lot of ideas in you. Um, so beside Instagram, Twitter, and like video, just video across the board, whether it's TikTok live streaming, uh, we have in the back Zoom, Virtual Summit, TikTok, YouTube, um, anything video related, I love, 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 because you cannot fudge video, you cannot pretend you are real, um, you can't, 
you know, pretend on video. People see your face, your authenticity, you know, and, uh, but yeah, if you did this on your own, it would probably take you 10 years and versus I give shortcuts and I show people exactly what I do daily and my secrets, what I do daily, um, that can get you clients and get you income very quick, very quick. And the relationships I've built, they're million billion dollar relationships. And Sometimes those relationships and those, you know, people that you surround yourself with are much bigger than any kind of income you will ever have. I mean, what I have created is priceless for my family and for myself, and you can do the same thing. And I've put it all in the back office and weekly, we're actually monthly, we're adding um, new things. So the 897 is only limited to 20 people. Um, new monthly courses, YouTube course, like I said, that's a $50,000 question. Uh, bonuses, mastermind group every month, Facebook private community, 30 minute one on one call with myself this week, and the Power Basking course, and my new book, Disruptor Brand, where Gary V is featured. And the 497 is for the first 20 people, and um, you get quite a bit you don't get the um, mastermind call every month but you get a group mastermind and you get a call with me in fact i'll change it from 10 minutes to you know 15 minutes but it's for the first 20 people and i get booked really really quick and ray is going to um do some coaching with me he is the attitude coach he has a new website coming out this week um, and I will message you guys on that. So we are glad you showed up. You want to say any last words, Ray? No, I just want to say this was, uh, the, the information was phenomenal. Uh, I think that, um, I, I know that there's people's minds are just kind of just sparking with, uh, with new ideas and um, this does work. So you know it's it's without a doubt it does work and and yeah and we gave them examples on how you know even if you got three clients a month or five clients a month or you know you did a subscription of 29 dollars a month times 100 people getting 100 people um i'm not a huge fan of facebook ads i'm more of a big fan of instagram ads and spending five bucks a day um if that so instagram ads i can show you how to do that and um facebook ads if you would really like to do that however i have not spent a dime in 13 years on marketing and branding and i forgot to tell you that it's an all organic from social media i've not spent a penny on marketing or advertising or branding so awesome yeah we are blessed you came we are so grateful you showed up and it's your time not to it's your time to say yes to you your family and to stop settling because things have changed and you want financial peace and a stress-free life so that is it excellent excellent well thank you so much Barty. oh thank you and um And it, just one more time on the, uh, what is the website? Uh, oh, powerbrandingacademy.com. Right, powerbrandingacademy.com forward slash by dash now. Dash. Let me go there. Yeah, powerofbrandingacademy.com forward slash by dash now. Excellent.